I have a sprained foot, so this is kind of difficult. The final piece. So we got a new complete scooter, which I'm going to be modifying in this video. Uh, but first, let's check out how it comes out the box. All right, so this scooter is the MV KOS S6 Charge. Sun is really in my eyes. Much better. Okay, so this scooter comes at uh, 4.9 wide and then 20.5 long, um, which is just a little bit longer than my blue Raven Warner AOS V5, and then um, just a little bit wider as well. The bars are 25.6 tall and then 22.8 wide. Um, it's a very Reaper style bar just without the little like crosshairs. My favorite part of oil slick is actually the like greenish teal color part and that's exactly what I see when I look down the head tube. It comes set up with an IHC and then a 24 wide core and 26 wide urethane um, at 120 millimeters. One of the things I love about this wheel is the glitter graphic. The wheel spec is very John Reyes-esque, uh, so pretty similar to that wheel. All right, now let's show you the parts that we're gonna add to this thing. All right, so the bars that I'm gonna use are actually gonna be the Oil Slick Union bars. Um, the specs on like height and width are actually the same as the other bar, so 25.6 tall and then 22.8 wide. I usually cut my bars um, depending on the length of the deck. This deck is 20.5, um, so I would probably do 21.5 wide, um, and then height, I keep stock. Um, and then if my deck is longer, then I tend to make it 22. Um, but that's usually what I do. Uh, I'm not, probably not gonna do that today, though. I'll probably do that later. Um, but that's the bars. For the fork, I'm actually gonna keep the fork that comes stock on the scooter. I do have an oil slick fork, um, but it's SES and I wanna use IHC for right now. I usually run IHC and tell my bars for like they're gonna break and then I cut the bar and use it as an SES. For the wheels, I actually think the wheels that come on the stock complete look better, but that's not the one I'm gonna use. I have these Oath Bermuda wheels. I've been using this wheel for a hot minute and it is, getting pretty worn, uh, but it has a lot of life left in it and I uh, want to use it. I also think it's going to match. For the grips, I have these Will Scott grips. I actually think that these are probably the, my favorite grips. Um, they're a little bit squishier and a little bit heavier than another grip, um, but I think protecting your hands is a good idea. It also adds a little bit of weight to the scooter, which allows it to spin, in my opinion, better. Um, I also have neochrome um, aluminum bar ends that are coming they're just not here yet for the headset i'm going to use the headset that comes stock on the complete except i'm going to replace the top cap with this fasten neochrome one lastly i'm going to use oil slick lucky pegs uh, i recently just started learning pegs well learning peg tricks uh, been experimenting with it. I don't know if it's something that I'm gonna keep on my scooter forever, but it's interesting for right now, so I'm gonna keep it going.
I think the black fork and clamp is probably a good call because like oil flick can easily be overdone, but with like a little hint of black, it kind of tames it a little bit. I also think in hindsight that probably the shade of oil slick that the reapers have would probably have been like a more precise match um however i've never tried a union bar and i really wanted to um but uh i'm super like eager to try this thing as soon as my foot heals up it's so flashy but i just know it's gonna look awesome in gopro footage and uh that's what i feel like i'm lacking in so yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be really sick. Let me know what you guys think, what you would have done differently, or like if you like it. And as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in another video. Bye.